Now there was a question on the community recently about uh, copying the cascading select list values from parent to subtask. Now this has been asked quite a lot uh, on the community and today I thought I'll probably create a video on this topic. So we'll be, we'll be doing two things, we'll be basically copying the value from parent to child and uh, we will be taking a look at how to fetch the cascading set list value using smart values. It is not at all difficult, it is just doing something very simple. So let us first create a task, a simple task. Maybe I want to create a parent bug. So this is my bug, parent bug. And uh, what I want to do, I want to of course fill up one uh, field called cascading select list. So let's say you have some values in the parent and child uh, cascading select list. So yeah, uh, when you're working with cascading select list, you have to get the values separately from these two different, uh, I mean, the, it's the same field, it is the same field, but uh, the, values, the values are stored uh, in some kind of a relation. Uh, so when we create this issue, we'll take a look at the issue and then we'll uh, take a look at uh, the field here. So when you look at the field value, it is stored here as uh, parent value hyphen uh, child value. And uh, to fetch the value, you have to use, uh, you can use smart, value, smart values. So before I create the rule to access the cascading select list values. I will probably take a look at the workflow. So let us say you have a rule that will create uh, the subtask when you move the issue to in progress state because we have to trigger, we have to basically specify a trigger for the automation rule. So let us create one automation rule and uh, what I will do, I will uh, open the automation rule and uh, I will go to the create rule option on top when it is loaded. Yep. So create rule. The trigger is uh, transition. So when the issue is transition to in progress, I want to then maybe create a subtask. Now when you create a subtask, let us see what all we can do. So when you create a new subtask, you can uh, define the subtask type and the project. So let us say the project is bug tracking and uh, uh, the parent issue is uh, the one that is uh, going to trigger. So that is, I believe, the current issue because uh, we are going to transition the parent. So I think this is fine. And uh, I will, I can also set the fields from here. So for doing that, for, for, for creating a subtask, I will uh, basically give this subtask a summary. Like, for example, uh, this is my, or maybe subtask summary. And in the description, what I can do, I can uh, copy, or basically I can copy the uh, smart, basically the cascading select list uh, field value using uh, issue dot uh, field name. The field name is uh, cascading select list. Let me just <laughs> open the issue and uh, take a look at the cascading select list. Yep, this is fine. So let us uh, copy this and uh, dot value. So if you if you are if you want to fetch the the value of a parent, you have to use dot value. Uh, and if you're talking about child, you have to do this child dot value. Now save it, give this a name like uh, maybe copy cascading custom field to subtask, turn it on. And uh, let us go back to the to the issue and uh, move the issue to maybe uh, we don't really or oh, we do have in progress. So let us move it to in progress. Wait for it to do something. And I'll, I'll probably take a look at the audit log. So it says something in the audit log that, you know, there is something that happened. So I'll go back to the issue. I'll click on the subtask summary. 
and uh, what i want to see is i want to see if uh, i am able to fetch the cascading select list uh, value so let me open the subtask so in the description we are able to fetch the values of the cascading select list separately so basically you have to do this in the um, in the in the description if you want to do it in the description but of course you can uh, uh, i think the important part here is to understand how to fetch it and if you want to see how it works what you can also do you can uh, simply i mean without doing dot value you, you can try to print everything as it is and uh, then you will probably realize uh, the way cascading select lists are stored so if i go back to the issue and do the in progress again hopefully it will create one more subtask i'll probably refresh the issue and wait for uh, the oh no no i did it for the subtask not the not for the parent so let us go back to the parent change it to in progress it is already in progress but i think we can do in progress one more time because it is using simplified workflow so we can cl click on it multiple times if we want and now if you if you take a look at the summary you will notice that uh, this is basically a json where you have uh, the parent value and uh, then you have child now child again contains uh, a similar pattern where you have the value of the child which is the parent one child one and of course uh, the id of the custom field so this is how basically you will do it what you can also do if let us say if at the subtask level if you have uh, those uh, fields like i believe uh, we also have the fields cascading select list here i guess you can also try to do something with the rule so let us see if it is a possibility or not so when you are uh, lo creating an issue you have the option to also also populate some of the fields now the the problem with this is that when you are using these uh, options not all the fields are supported so for example if you want to let us say uh, set the field values like let us say it is due date or uh, maybe you want to set uh, some other field you can do that from here but it depends so if you are trying to find the cascading select list i cannot find it and uh, it is probably not not really um, supported yet so but if you want to take a look at the fields uh, that you can potentially set while uh, you're creating an issue you can just uh, use this option as well choose fields to set so there are a lot of fields that you can probably uh, configure and uh, you can also try to use the uh, additional options here like you can also uh, uh, set the values using uh, this json file which will be will be taking a look at in uh, probably uh, a feature video but if you are trying to do something very simple you can also use uh, the, uh, the 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 option here so in this video i basically wanted to, to wanted to talk about the cascading select list value and how to fetch it how to fetch the values using uh, smart values so that is all I wanted to talk about and discuss in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.